Welcome to the testing word. In this session, I'll show you how we can write a reusable script library. Reusable script library means I want to write some code in Groovy language under SOAP UI and I want to use the same code on the multiple places. So that's a very common scenario. I give an example like I'm connecting with the database by using Groovy script and in my SOAP UI project on many places I want to use same code like I want to connect with the database on many test cases. So in that kind of scenarios we can write a reusable code or we can say a reusable script library which can be write on one place and can be called on the multiple places. So these are the steps, 11 steps which are involved to create this library. I'll create three different videos for this complete process. In first video, we are going to cover these three steps. First, we need to create a test suite for the reusable script. Then we need to create a test case under the suite and then we need to add a Groovy script step. So here we are going to write reusable code. So first of all, I'm moving to the SOAP UI and here I'm going to create an empty project. I'll show you how we can generate the script library. So I'm not creating a SOAP or REST project. You can create your SOAP or REST project as per your requirement. As of now, I'm just creating an empty project. Empty project means I'm not adding any specific URI or SOAP services. So a project is created. I'm just renaming it. So I'm giving service automation. Inside this, first we need to create a test suite for reusable scripts. So I'm coming here and I'm creating a new test suite giving the name library. So a test suite is created inside my project and now inside the test suite we need to create a test case. So I'm coming here and I'm creating a test case and giving the name reusable scripts. So here we will notice a new test case is created. Inside the test case, we need to write a step, Groovy script step. So I'm coming here, adding a new step, which is Groovy script step. You can give any name. I'm just giving reusable lib. So first three steps are done, which are very straightforward. We need to create a test suite then test case and add a groovy script step. That's all we have for this video. We will cover rest of the steps in coming videos. That's all we have. Thanks for watching this video.